Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering! Today, I have a kind of a boring deck, but I felt like it was needed. It's a white knight deck, only has knights. I don't know about the novice knights, I think I am actually going to remove two of them to add some equipment. Because we have two of the novice knights, but without equipment they are kind of bad. Maybe... Mm. This could be legit with uh, her. But I think I want something that I can equip to the novice knights. It doesn't have to be like very special or anything like that. I don't have any short swords. Wait, really? Wow. No way. I don't have any short swords. That's amazing. That's actually amazing. 2 mana, 3 to equip. I think I want the short swords, actually. Uh, let's just craft 2. They're just uh, uncommon. Not even that, they're just common, even. Uh, there we go. That's the deck. We got 2 short swords for the... Uh, I think I can, actually. Let's see, we want to remove the Cleansing Nova as well. I'm quite sure of. Let's add another short sword. There we go, done, and let's play this. So there's nothing special really to this deck. This is just kind of a early aggro knight deck, basically. I've been winning some games with it. It's kind of effective, but uh, not a lot of thought or uh, such has really gone into it, to be honest. Like, we, we basically just got these basic uh, knightly cards. Gallant Cavalry, History of, Benal History of Benalia, the ben Benalish Marshals. The Benalish Marshals are such good cards in, like, only white decks. And then we have some Knightly Valor to summon more knights and gain plus two, plus two, and Vigilance. It's kind of nice. It's, 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 it's a good. These are kind of good as well because we have some kind of good targets for them with the uh, Novice Knights as well. So that they can attack if they have the Knightly Valor. Now, we are facing a way more aggressive deck, I feel, than ours. Uh, next turn I'm gonna cast History of Benalia, I'm quite sure. That's going to be the play. Then the turn after that, well, if I can pull a land, that is. The turn after that, we're going to, we're going to play the Benalish Marshal. Sounds great, History of Benalia. This is such a strong card. This is the best historic card. And I will be very sad when it is uh, removed from the game, because it is a very good historic card. It's like, oh yes, do you want free 2-2s? Two and then they get a massive buff, as long as they're knights. Oh, yeah, sure. That's the thing. So, this is just a deck that I've kind of wanted to make. I, I, I kind of like to sometimes make mono, um, mono decks and just basically... Uh, Really need a Conclave Tribunal for that. Um, but yeah, I kind of like just playing these kinds of decks sometimes. Where it's like, oh yes, well... Uh, they're just casually a... Uh, like a knight, knight kind of deck that is mono. It's, it's, uh, it's a nice thing. Just chilling, playing this. Because they are usually very easy to play as well. At least that's what I think. Like, you basically only play the lands that you have, you don't have to think about how you play stuff usually, you can just play it and just uh, see how it goes. This is kind of good, we have the Valiant Knights as well to buff up our knights. Ooh, a higher man's cage, gonna be targeting our Benalish Marshal I'm assuming. I really, really, really want a Conclave Tribunal right now. To remove this resplendent angel so it doesn't get the time to start stacking up. Because, uh, yeah, that's nothing that any one of us want to see. This is actually a very dangerous turn for him. Because we have another Benalish Marshal. Boom, there we go. Two five fives coming at ya. Oof, that hurts. That's a lot of damage. After that, we have uh, this boy. Or girl, rather. 
Um, she's also one of the reasons that I like the aura and equipment cards. So with her, these basically become four cost cards. Otherwise, they're a bit expensive, but uh, with her out, four cost, it's kind of okay. You get a 2-2 two, two, and you can put plus 2, plus 2 and give Vigilance to a creature. The problem is most of our creatures already have Vigilance to begin with, but uh, I mean, that's how it goes. I really just want one more land, then we can play out the Valiant Knight and that would actually be sick. Valiant Knight, such a good card. Oh, we have so many targets that I really want to cast um, Conclave Tribunal on. I do really need a Conclave Tribunal, actually. That's 5 mana, so one more mana we can give double, double strike to all our knights as well. That would be very sick. I wonder, if I attack with all of these, will he try to block the Benalish Marshal? We'll see. Ah, seal away. That has flash. Ugh. He's playing some strange removal cards, I'll give him that. Like, seal away isn't that useful. The thing is, like, it's, oh yeah, target tapped creature. It's so weird. It's such a weird, like, prefix. Oh crap, this is bad. Okay, we just need to fly the flood this guy at this point. Don't wanna do this. Boom. There we go. No attacks. The thing is like I'm gonna get it get beat up in the sky. And we're really... Maybe I should cast Gallant Gal Cavalry, actually. I think I should have. I'm probably dead, actually. Might be very dead. Well, I'm not dead just yet, but... It's not looking too great. Let's just put it that way. Like two flyers of this caliber. Oof. That's a hard... Hard nut to crack. If I could get... Oh my god. If I pulled Settle the Wreckage after this that would be insane that would be the best possible thing that can happen sadly not what happened yeah he is at full health we're not gonna win this we can just surrender healed so much from the oh, from the angel goddamn angels healing Okay, let's do one more game. Because I know, I believe, in the white knight thing. We need to be in white knights. That is kind of the joke I was going for with this deck. And I mean... I said it, so... I mean, let's see. The joke is done! I'm kind of sad that I haven't pulled any of the um, of the novice knights or the equipment, because that's kind of the point of them to pull them and use them early game. Black white deck. I don't think this will be pleasant. He is going to have a lot of removal. Interesting. might just buffer next turn actually with the Knightly Valor. That might be a good idea. Because she is very hard to remove from the field. She has first strike. Yep, there we go. Luminous Bonds. Kinda what I was expecting actually. Settled Wreckage is a really good like uh, panic card to have. 
so I'm very happy about pulling that actually. I just love the Gallant Cavalry. The Gallant Cavalry is a more expensive version basically of um, Instigate Goblin Instigators. Yeah, that's the name of them. Damn, he has a lot of these bullshit spells. I don't mind attacking with this guy. Like, it would be actually be great if he blocked them. So. Having this, this guy, oh, that's great. Especially as we're going to be playing these night buffs on this, this boy. Or is it better to play the Knightly Valor on him? Oh well, it doesn't matter, he has all the removal in the world. Hmm. I kind of regret removing my Cleansing Nova. I had a Cleansing Nova and a Settled Wreckage beforehand. Maybe I should add it back. Because at this point, a Cleansing Nova would be insanely strong. Just removing all artifacts and enchantments. Oh my god. It would be insane. Yeah, I think the Valiant Knight is, is the play. He has really been, like, using some real control spells here. Double Luminous Bonds, Hieromancer's Cage. I'm surprised that he doesn't have, like, Murder and stuff like that instead. Because basically, Murder is the same cost as Luminous Bonds, right? So why not cast that instead? Who knows? Hmm... Um, not really a big threat to me, I'd say. So unless he has something really good to remove stuff with next turn, I think he might be in trouble. Like he is basically going to die probably. God damn it! How many of these removal spells does he have? Hmm. Well, that's worth it. Yes. Boom, there we go. No point in attacking, so we'll just chill. Like, I am a bit afraid of what he actually has. He hasn't played anything, like, really threateningly. He might be just very unlucky and haven't pulled any good creatures, basically. He had a lot of control, though. That was, like, an extreme amount of control. As, like, first couple of cards. Vampire Sovereign. Hmm. That's okay. I feel like I should maybe... Oh, that is nice. That is actually very nice. Let's just uh, put that down. Boom. And attack with everyone. Banalish Marshal, saving me again. There goes my hero. Is he going to kill the Valiant Knight, maybe? He might. That's what I would do. I would totally, like, shame, put this guy here. Kill, uh, kill off the Valiant Knight. And use this guy to block, maybe. Like, he doesn't have to. But going down to 2 HP is quite rough. I feel like we got this. Like, 
We have a kind of a strong board compared to his. We have knightly valor to buff up our uh, our knight paragon. He has Kaya. Somebody bothering you? I'll make them suffer. I don't know what he is expecting to do with Kaya. But um I don't know. He could heal himself to survive this turn. He could. You're not welcome here anymore. Yeah, I was not surprised by that, to be honest. There is something that he has that is stopping all of these from resolving. So he has some card to play. But I'm not sure what it is. And that's kind of scaring me a little bit. Because he has something. Fungalim. He's down to one health. If he has no other creature to play in right, right now, he is dead. Yeah, he is dead. Good game. Good game, guy. Not on my watch. All right. Doesn't matter, he's still dead, I just realized. Does not matter. I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, playing Liliana obviously was his only choice, but um, but still, feels bad, man. It was his only choice, and uh, I feel like he he just basically pulled badly, which is kind of sad. Kinda said. Um, but that has been this uh, mono white deck. I hope you liked it. It's a uh, it's a good kind of aggressive deck. It's uh, a really going wide deck basically, um, with such shining uh, shining cards like Inspired Charge for the uh, if you are extremely wide and want to kill everything, uh, the Conclave Tribunals, and my favorite Settle the Wreckage. Settle the Wreckage. Mwah. That is some removal and a half. So, uh, yeah. I hope you liked it, because I kind of like playing it. It's kind of a shield deck. You don't have to think that much. Just play out your knights and uh, go face. That's basically what you do.
without further ado, I've been you, lad. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment what you think of my decks. And uh, I will see you guys next time.